Go for it. Go for it. Sorry. According to human trafficking hotline.org, women are four times more probable to getting in play food than men. Today, my speech is about human trafficking, and this speech is to inform you about what human trafficking is and how it affects us real life. Just because women are more, more vulnerable to getting abducted doesn't mean that they're the only ones. People traffic humans for money, to prostitute women, or for free labor. And first, I'll discuss how organs are sold through the back market. black market is a media which people can buy and sell illegal things, and in this case, is trafficking organs. According to CNN, kidneys are in high demand. Up to 7,000 are obtained illegally every year. Taking out your kidneys can lead to various health issues because they are done in unsafe clinics. According to Rev967.com, in the United States, your kidney is worth $262,000 and is the most valuable organ in your body. It's even more valuable than the heart. My second main point is prostitution. And prostitution is another form of human trafficking and is best described as offering sexual acts in, in exchange for money. Prostituting yourself can be done either way you need forced, and prostitution is illegal in the entire U.S. United States, except for Nevada, because Nevada has brothels, which are like prostitution houses, and um, prostitution is actually legal there. My third is slavery, and slavery is a form of free labor, and it's also um, one of the most well-known acts of free labor. Um, slavery is when people are classified as property and are sold and owned. And I also wanted to show you um, these um, graphs. The graphs are um, depicting how the percentage between genders that are being trafficked and just for sexual exploitation, it's 98% women. So that's how many people, how many women are being prostituted for slavery for And to conclude, I'm going to share a story that me and my classmates read last semester in English class about this woman in Brazil who kidnapped a homeless kid off the streets to take to an organ harvester in order to buy herself a TV. I mentioned the story because human trafficking is heartless and no one deserves to be a protective.